Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever. That's now going to go through so that I've got a simple shuttle through there. Uh, took a while to figure it out, but we've got there. So I want to buy two buses to go on there, set line all, line 12. So that's going to ferry between those two. And that should be all tickety boo and wonderful. And then we can go to line 12 down here and vehicles and we can set a bit of colour on these, which is going to be, which colour is it? I think we're up to, oh no, we went to that one, it's got to be that colour, there. Right, so that one goes to there. I've already upgraded the road, it goes all the way through here. I've got 55 bus stops, which means that I don't have room for one over here. But what I can do now is I can have a look at Stuttgart and we can remove a bus stop. So I'm going to go to here and I've got line 2. Running through the town right here, I would say that Church Lane can be gotten rid of. Church Lane can go. Get rid of that one. There. Earn 50 million with your airline. We've got that one. 3 million, 4 million at the moment on line 3. Uh, 8 million on line 8 and 4 million on line 7. We're making a fortune on that one. Then we've got line 12 over here, which is the new one we just built. We've got line 11 has made a million already in long distance bus travel, which is pretty good, I'd say. That's, something, that's, that's not something to be sniffed at. Now we want one more of these. We want a bus tram station, and we want to bring that one in over here. And I'm actually just going to put that in... Kind of like that. That's all I need to do. Actually, you know what? We don't want to have that there. I want to get rid of that one. And then I want to put this one in. And I'm going to bring that round. And I'm going to drop that one right there like that. Then I'm going to go back into here. And we're going to go onto line two. So from the drive there, I then want to add in that one. And then it will go on to South Street after that. So we've got that little route right there. Then I need to add in a new line, which is going to go from Stuttgart Holt there. That is going to run all the way over to that one right there. Cologne Holt right over there. Cologne Holt, whichever you want to call it. And that one will go to there. So then we want to buy some road vehicles. I want to buy those. One, two, three, like that. And... On a set line all, and they're going to go onto line 13. And then I want to set some changes on line 13. I want to go to you, and I want to do that. So got some nice colours. Is that actually the colours that they're using? Line 13, that looks really, really pale compared to what I've just picked out on here. I think they've actually gone with that lower line down there. For the next round of colours. Oh well, doesn't really matter, does it? Doesn't really matter at all. So there I've got that one. Line 13. They're already waiting to go. We've got nobody on board there. Let's speed that up a bit. You, right there. I've already got four passengers. Is that they're, they're, they're whizzing off on their way up to the next city. You got sixteen people in here, you're coming in. Clone has now got a willingness to travel of 1%. That's just gone up to 2%. But this willingness to travel malarkey is still quite low. So I think the next thing that we're going to need to do is put lines going from here. Like, industry. But we, we don't have any industry, do we? So this is what people said. That the, the suggestion for willingness to travel... Was what you've got to do is you've got to eliminate the industry in one of the towns. If you destroy industry in one of the towns, then everybody's going to travel elsewhere for jobs and shopping and stuff. But, I don't, yeah, I guess we can try it. I'm kind of out of other ideas, to be honest. So let's have a look in here. And Clone is 
that's now gone up to 4%. We'll, we'll leave it for a minute and just see if these buses have increased the willingness to travel. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. We certainly know that it's made a difference for Stuttgart and Hamburg. It's, def it's definitely made some differences. Having those buses there. Right, that one going away there. I've got 16 people on board that bus. And if I look here, i got 28 people waiting to travel right there. Line 1 has got a load of people there waiting to travel. Line 12 has got people wanting to go over to that side. And i got these buses whizzing off up the road. 16 people on that one. There's 16 people on that one. I think we need to assign another three buses to each of those two lines. By road vehicles. One, two, three. Like that. And set line all. This is line 11 going up there, isn't it? Yes. Line 11. And then I want to buy another three. One, uh, one, two, three more buses like that. Set line all. You're going to go with the new line 13 going that way. Three of them going out. So let's not do the land use thing yet. Instantly, look at this. I've got 10% willingness to travel on there now. I need Stuttgart to go up to 10% as well, and then we're done. That's what we're aiming to get now. So Stuttgart over here is currently saying 6%, but if we get a few more people traveling out of here, see, there's, there's only one on there. There's not many. I've got a lot of people over here willing to travel. They're, they're rushing off. That's gone up to 8%. And I did increase this bit out here. I wonder if I need to have a direct shuttle going from there over to here. Kind of like I did with the other one. Let's, let's try that a minute then. I'll make another line. From there over to there. I'm not going to change anything else on that. I might need to go around and do bus lines all the way through all of those. Um... The, the, on the roads. So we'll do that bit there. And then I want to go to you. Buy road vehicles. There. One, two. Set line all. That's the new line 14 down there. I don't want to set line on there. I want to go here. So I can set that line. Another vehicle. It's an open wagon for trains. We don't have any trains. Right, there we go. We've got some blue buses on there. So I've now got... Look at that! Cologne has gone to 18%. Stuttgart There's has done. There's in the skies over Germany. The wires travel by air, as long as they can afford it. And thanks to our excellent economic situation, that's a lot of people. Excellent. Right, heavy traffic that we didn't get. 15 airplanes. I could have gotten that one if I'd just got some more of the cheap ones to start with. And then you had High Flyer over here, which we didn't do. It was uh, 1955. So return to main menu. We want to go on to the next mission, whatever that one's going to be. How far... France has shown us all oh. how it's done. The entire world is marveling at Concord, which soars through the air at almost twice the speed. There's just no equivalent on the ground. The Concord is little use for domestic travel. The oil crisis has plunged the country into a deep recession, and on top of that has made air travel more expensive. It's time for a new great technical achievement. A sign that France has what it takes to remain a great, innovative nation, even in difficult times. Let's prove that our industrial nation is still leading the way in cutting-edge technology. All right. I'm assuming that this is going to be train-based. Finish the mission before the year 2000. Hmm. Don't know about that. Never make use of a grant. Achieve a speed of more than 280 kilometers an hour with a train. Achieve a journey time between Paris and Lyon of under five minutes. Transport 500 passengers in one year. See, these are medals, so we don't have to do them. They're, they're, they're just sort of things that we can work towards. France, end of the 70s. Shortly before his death, President Georges Pompidou laid some key political foundations. We will develop the next generation of high-speed train. Soon, the world's fastest trains will be zipping across France. For our undertaking, 
We'll need lines as straight as arrows for the new trains to whiz along at astronomical speeds to their destinations. Our objective is to ensure that the train outstrips the plane in terms of speed and that rail becomes the most popular means of transport for domestic travel. We'll make our high-speed train the pride of the entire nation. Right, so this time we've got to make sure that we have straight, level lines. The stretch between Paris and Lyon is absolutely perfect for the first stage of our project. At the moment, the journey is a bumpy ride. It rocks and rattles, and tea spills over the brims of cups along the bends. What's more, the journey takes far too long. If a line worthy of the new high-speed train is to be built here, we'll need to make urgent improvements. Let's lay the tracks so that we avoid having to break. This is the only way we can achieve truly high speeds. The connection should also be as direct as possible. Our budget is limited, so a single track line with passing sidings will have to do. Straighten the track between Paris Main Station and Lyon Main Station, so that trains can achieve an average journey time of less than seven minutes. Trains have to brake before tight curves, try to avoid that. Bridges have different top speeds depending on their type. Even if the current trains might not reach that speed, it's worth planning ahead. Right. No pressure. Anything like that. No pressure at all, but we've got to make a perfect station. Uh, a, a, a perfect trip. So let's, let's have a little look. We've got Paris over... Excuse me. Uh, we've got Paris over here. We've got a bit of food. Right there for Paris. Um, that's the train. That's for vehicles. We've got hairy planes over here as well. The Concorde on the ground. Uh, I've got the Eiffel Tower right there in the middle. Apparently I can't delete the Eiffel Tower. Looking at it. Probably don't really want to delete the Eiffel Tower. Let's be honest. And then you've got this big old line that runs all the way along here. What's this? Oh, that's the train that's running at the moment. So that wiggles and turns and twists and gets all the way over to there. So what we want is a line as straight as an arrow from here over to Leon, which is basically, I just want to go that way. I want to go all the way through here. I got 50 million. And I want to get over to here. Over to this side. Somewhere over here. Now, I, if I bring one out of there a minute. Let me go like this. Standard high speed track. Let's just go with standard track for a minute. Like this. Now, the problem when you try and do a long run like this. It struggles. That's 35 million. Bring that over to there. Connect into there. 44 million. Average travel time, 9... Oh, that's what it is at the moment. 9 minutes. That's 44 million there. I don't want to do that. But I've got a rough idea now, haven't I? So it's... We, we need to... Well, avoid tight curves. So we can still have some gentle curves. If I was to bring that out... Bring that in. We want to go straight across that bit. And then bring that round and probably straight across there. So we want a tunnel to go under that bit. That's a very expensive kind of thing. I could go out here and go around there. Let's, let's put these contours on a minute. Let's see what we got. So we got a, the, the road that goes through there. So I've got an option. I can, like, this one follows the river at the moment, and it goes around there. So I could either continue to follow that river, bring that back round. I could go near where the road is going, through there. Or I could go this way. I could bring that out and go that way. Tunnel through that bit there. Bring it back in through there, and then a straight line up there and in round this way. So we'll be able to bypass that bit, that bit round. We can come over to there. Then we want to go straight in through here. This is what I'm thinking might work. We, we want to keep it dead level as well. So that bit around there. Let's go high-speed track. 
Track modification. Upgrade tracks for higher speed. Right. I've got the, the station there. Upgrade those tracks for higher speed. 15,000 to upgrade that one. You know what? We're going to do it. We're, we're going to... I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm not going to upgrade everything because I don't want to do that. But I do want to upgrade for higher speed over to this point over here. That bit. And that bit there. That's as much as I want to do for upgrading to higher speed. Because then I'm going to want to start building a brand new track. So I want to go out to here. We've got high speed tracks over there. And I want to take that one from here. That's going to come out this way. Nope. I need to bring you there. That's now brought out onto high-speed track. There. That's high-speed track down to there. So that track, I need to bring this over to this point over here. That's got to go around that way. Which means I need to go around the base of this hill, don't I? So I want to bring that kind of... You need to go level. Like that. And you need to stay level. So that's going to go around that way. 700,000 going to be a cutting in through there and it's going to come over to this point now that's pretty much straight to that point right there so it's it's nice and level all the way along here i've got a dead level line all the way through we're keeping the cantonary thing so next i need to get through that bit this is the expensive bit I need to bring it out over to... That's kind of where I need to go, is, is, is about over to here, isn't it? It's got to come out to that point there. 10 million. There. So I've got... That's a tunnel that goes all the way through there. It goes into a cutting in there, and then it goes all the way out over there. And then from there, I need to bring it down and we want to sort of go under there. And that's where the main curve is going to have to go, under there. That's where I want to go. I want to bring that along this way. Right, this, this is the tricky bit. How much is this going to cost me? Right, really, I want to bring it down that way. But that's that's a long way. That's, that's a lot of tunnel, that is. Too much slope, construction not possible. There shouldn't be any slope. Right, I'm sort of the 17 million to there. So I'm I'm looking at this over here. So really, I need to I need to bring that over this way here. We want to get to about that point there. That's 1.5 million, but that's because we've had to raise the level of that all the way through across the whole track. So then I can bring it over this way a little bit, and it is going into a tunnel right there. And again, it's on a curve. But the curve is actually all right. Why is that not possible? Why are you telling me that this is not possible? Don't tell me it's not possible. That's possible. Over to there. Right, that's more like it. And then I want to bring that over here. And I essentially just want to go straight out that way. Over to there. There, so I come out of the tunnel over here. 
I spent a lot of money building this, but I think this is going to be worth it. It's it should be a pretty it's pretty much a straight line all the way through. A very gentle curve all the way around here as well. Now this last bit, have we already got these upgraded? Let's let's have a look a minute. Let's have a look at these upgrades. Um, if I click that. I uh, see it wasn't already upgraded, so we we do want to upgrade this so that we've got high speed line on here like that. Bring that out to there, and then that's high speed onto there. So there's my actual high speed line over there. So then I go back over to here. We go to the high speed tracks, and I grab that bit, and. I need to bring that into here. So we do have a little bit of a curve on here. And I need to bring it in. I need to bring that in kind of like that. There. And then join it in here. That needs to come in across. Construction not possible. Why is it not possible? I can bring that to that point. Right, that will go out onto there. And that will join in. So then I can get rid of this one. And... I don't need to upgrade anything else. So right there, I've now got the new line. That's the new line that goes all the way through. That's cost me a lot of money to build that, but that's a fairly straight line. There's no sharp corners on it. We've got a lot of tunnels in there, but there's no sharp corners apart from each end. Each end is the only issue that we've got. Don't know if this is the right way to go about doing this or not. We'll have to wait and see. Um... Average travel time, nine minutes, it says on there. Single track with passing sidings. We need to straighten the track, so we achieve a journey time. Um, bridges of different top speeds, so I don't have any bridges. Uh, right, so we need passing siding. I don't know how many of those I'm supposed to put in. I don't even know how to do it properly. Let me go here, like this. Put one out like that. Bring that along. And then put one back in like that. So there's a passing siding right there. And I got that tunnel goes all the way through over to here. And then so we'll put a passing siding that comes out from this end. It'll go essentially right there, I would say. And we'll do that. And then you can come along like that. Uh, leave it there. And then move that back in like that. And then I'll move up this end and I will do another passing siding right here is this gonna be enough uh, this is what I'm not sure about is whether I've got enough passing sidings or not and and how long they're supposed to be or any, anything like that I, I don't really know and then we can drop that bit into there like that so there's another passing siding then that's tunnel all the way under there and then you've got the station back here we could put one more up here I think one more right here. Just as we come out of that tunnel, I can put one there because it doesn't have to widen it all that much more. So then I can put you onto there like that. And then you come back onto the track like that. And then I go here. Path signal. It uses a normal path signal to regulate traffic or as a one-way signal. Waypoint. Used for rerouting a line can be added to a line like a station. Oh, I see. So I just want to put a... St I can see the signal here now. Right. So I'm one that way. Like that. And then I want to put one up this end. 
on here, that's got to go... Which way around? That, that one goes that way like that. Do I put them in pairs? Do I put one each side? I don't really know how I'm supposed to do this. But I, at least I can see them now. I couldn't see them previously. And then if I put that one there... So they, they're, they're signalling both ways. And then I would guess, do I put one... Do I put one there? One that side and one that side. And then do the same up here. On this end of the track. Put one there. And one there as well. I've absolutely no clue if that is anywhere approaching correct on how I'm supposed to do this. You've got one going that way. And one that way. And then I got one that way. Am I supposed to put one going the other way? I don't know. I don't know if I need those down there. I'm guessing I need these up here. And I do the same over here. I put one going that way and there. Put a couple each side. There you. Oh, I've, I've got those coming in, so I want those going out as well, really. Put one there and one there. I'll do the same over here because I, I really have no clue what I'm doing at the moment. You may not have guessed that. You may not have guessed in the slightest that I've got no clue what I'm doing on this. I know it's just as much a shock to me as it is to you. So we will we'll, we'll continue to do this. We'll just drop them at each side of the line like this. Put one there, one there, uh, one there, and dump one in there somewhere. And then I'll do the same down over this side. Boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, like that, and then... Boom, boom, right there. Like that. That is all present and correct down there. And then we go and zoom up over this way. So we've got another one right here. And I'll do exactly the same. So I will go like that. And I will do another boom, boom down here. Uh, you go there and you go there like that. And then we do the same up this end. One that side, one that side. There and over there. And I'll do one each side on this one. Like that. I think that's everything that I need to do. Okay, so... I don't believe there's anything else I need to do on here. About the only other thing, I suppose, is maybe put a stop on each... I don't need to put a stop on each of those, do I? I wouldn't have thought so. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. The budget is limited, so a single track line with passing sidings will have to do. I've got the other short line. Right, that one does go through. That's the slow train as well. That train right there, which is a, a speed of 140k. So have a look at the Paris Leon line. They've now moved the Paris Leon line. Vehicles, one train. I'm thinking that that one, like I've got this bit over here, so I can have that. Oh no, that Paris Leon line is the one that's got to stay there. Let's have a look. Well, folks, that's all we've got time for today. We'll be back again very soon, turning yet more pristine natural landscapes into booming industrial wasteland. But before then, if you enjoyed this video, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.